want to consider the oxidation of NO to NO2. So they've provided me the equation. Now I know that one half looks a little odd, but remember, if they give it to you, it is correct and you don't want to change anything. So in this problem, I actually want to compute the delta G naught of the reaction at 25 degrees C, and then I wanted to find out if that reaction is spontaneous based on my answer. So how am I gonna go about doing that? Well, I know that from earlier or previous, that delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. The only difference we have now is that we're looking at S naught, H naught, G naught. So what we're going to do? Well, we're going to have to know what is delta H naught of the reaction. We're also going to have to know what delta S naught of the reaction is. How do we find that? Remember, it's the sum of your products minus the sum of the reactants. So I'm going to let you pause the video, try each one of those on your own since I've provided you all of the data here, and then come back and check your answer. So here I've written out my steps. In the first one we have the product minus the reactant. Same thing here, the product minus the reactant. Now I decided to go ahead and this one's in kilojoules. I went ahead and converted it to joules as well because I know in the next one I have joules. So here's the actual equation. We're going to plug in the numbers that we just obtained. So I got minus 58100 minus, now remember not 25 degrees C is always 298.15 Kelvin. That should be kind of engraved in your mind by now. And this is going to be minus 73.3. So when I perform that calculation on my calculator, I get this big number, minus 36245.605. And that's in joules, but what do we know about delta G? Delta G is usually in kilojoules, so I'm going to go ahead and divide through by 1,000. And then that's going to give me minus 36.2 kilojoules. Now why did I just do three significant figures? Because when I the delta HFs only have three, these have four, and also I'm doing subtraction. So it's kind of a little bit of a leeway there for some people depending on your instructor. But I'm going to stick with this answer. Now, is it spontaneous? Well, the answer is yes. And that's because why? That's right, because you remember your rules.